आई एम विष्णु प्रसाद साबागई फ्रॉम बागलुंग रेस्पेक्टिव टीचर ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ऑन द टॉपिक्स ऑफ सरेट फॉर्नेट फार्मूला द सरेट फॉर्नेट फार्मूला इज डिफाइंड एज द फॉलोइंग सेट ऑफ फार्मूला व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स द आर्क डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ द फंडामेंटल वेक्टर्स T एंड एंड B आर कलेक्टिवली नोन एज सरेट फॉर्नेट फार्मूला दोज फार्मूला आर स्टेटेड एज फर्स्ट T डैश इज इक्वल टू कप्पा एन दैट इज डी टी अपन डी एस इज इक्वल टू कप्पा एन द सेकेंड सरेट फॉर्नेट फार्मूला इज बी डैश इज इक्वल माइनस टाओ एन दैट इज डी बी अपन डी एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस टाओ एन एंड द थर्ड सरेट फॉर्नेट फार्मूला इज डी एन अपन डी एस एन डैश इज इक्वल टाओ बी माइनस कप्पा टी to prove this formula we have to know about some symbols first we have to know about the fundamental concept of t n b kappa and tau the unit vectors along tangent normal and binormal are denoted by t and and b as shown in the figure the plane containing lies between t and b is known as oscillating plane the plane lies between t and b is known as rectifying plane and the plane between two normals that is principal normal n and binormal b is known as normal plane now the remaining two symbols which are denoted by kappa and tau are defined as kappa is the magnitude of the curvature uh, kappa is the curvature and tau is the torsion the curvature at a point p of a given curve is the arc rate of rotation of tangent that is change in the direction of tangent at p its magnitude is denoted by kappa curvature is the rate of change of the tangent its magnitude is denoted by kappa as shown in the figure that is kappa is magnitude of the rate of change of the tangent with respect to the arc length s yes. that is dt upon ds absolute value of dt upon ds is denoted by kappa similarly we can define the rate of change of the direction of the binormal is denoted by torsion its magnitude that is the magnitude of the rate of change of binormal with respect to the arc length is denoted by the torsion that is tau now let us start the proof of the sirett fornet formula first in first formula we have to prove that t dash is equal to kappa n to prove this we know that t dot t is equal to 1 because t is the unit mm, fundamental unit vectors that is the dot product of the unit vector is 1 if we differentiate t dot t is equal to 1 then we get plus t dot dt upon ds is equal to 0 after simplifying we get t dot t dash is equal to 0 that means t dash is perpendicular to t t dash is perpendicular to t again we know that the equation of os oscillating plane is r minus r t t dash is equal to 0 the scalar triple product of three vectors a b c is equal to 0 means a b c r coplanar in the similar way when r minus r t and t dash are three vectors with scalar triple product 0 then r minus r t and t dash are coplanar but here is given the equation of oscillating plane is r minus r t and t dash is equal to 0 r minus r 
T and T dash lies on the same plane. It is the equation of oscillating plane. So, R minus R T and T dash must lie on the oscillating plane. This means T dash lies on the oscillating plane. In the above part, we have already proved T dash is perpendicular to T. Again, T dash is lies on the oscillating plane. As shown in the as shown in the figure, T dash is perpendicular to T, and T dash lies on the oscillating plane means T dash is parallel to normal n. T dash is the vector which is parallel to the normal n as shown in the figure. But T dash is a vector. N dash is another vector. The direction of T dash and N dash is same. N dash is the unique normal vector, and T dash is the general vector. So, the direction of T dash is n. This means the direction of T dash is defined as T dash is divided by its magnitude. That is T dash upon T. T dash upon magnitude of T is equal to n. T dash upon magnitude of T is equal to n means T dash is equal to if we uh, multiply the magnitude of T by n, then we get T dash is equal to dt by ds into n. dt by ds is defined as the curvature that is kappa. That is T dash is equal to kappa n. The first part of the Sarit Fourier formula is proved. Similarly, in the second part. Of the Sarit Fournier formula, we have to prove that P dash is equal to minus tau n. For this, we again know that B dot B is equal to one because B is the unit normal, unit vectors, unit fundamental vector. So the dot product of unit vector is always one. So B dot B, the B dot B is equal to one. If we differentiate it in both sides, then we get b dot b dash is equal to zero. This means that b dash is perpendicular to b. That is shown in the red color sentence. That is b dash is perpendicular to b. Again, we know that b and t are two unit vectors. They are perpendicular to each other. So. B along the binormal, T along the tangent, binormal and tangent are two perpendicular vectors. So B dot T is equal to zero. If we differentiate it in both sides, then we get B dot T dash plus B dot dot T is equal to zero. But we know that T dash is equal to kappa n, and B dash dot T is equal to zero. If we substitute T dash is equal to kappa n in the place of T dash. Uh, then we get b dot n kappa plus b dash t is equal to zero. B and n are two perpendicular vectors, so the square product of two perpendicular vector is zero. This means this part becomes zero, and the remaining part is b dash dot t is equal to zero. The final part is here. At first we have to prove here b dash is perpendicular to b. Then We prove here B dash is perpendicular to T. B dash is the vector which is perpendicular to B, as well as B dash is the vector which is perpendicular to T. Means, as in the figure, B dash is parallel to N. B dash. This means B dash is perpendicular to the vector B. B dash is perpendicular to vector T. Means. B dash the uh, B dash is the vector which is perpendicular to the plane between T and B. So as in the figure, B dash is parallel to the vector n. But the sign of B dash take in the opposite direction. Because as in the figure, B dash is parallel to n. They are in the opposite direction since the rotation of oscillating plane as s increases in the direction of right, and it is still traveling in the direction of t. 
n and b dash are parallel but the direction of n and b dash is just opposite n goes in this direction but b dash goes in this direction so direction is opposite but b, the magnitude of b if we divide the direct uh, the vector b by b dash by its magnitude then we get minus n not n but minus n because their direction is opposite so minus n is equal to b dash upon magnitude of b dash that is we get b dash b dash is equal to minus tau n because uh, db upon d the magnitude of the db upon ds is tau so minus tau n is equal to b dash here we write b dash not only there is mistakenly we write here comma this implies that b dash is equal to minus tau n hence the second part of the serif format formula also proved in the similar way we have to prove in the third part n dash is equal to tau v minus kappa t for this we know that n is equal to b cross t because n n t and b are three unit fundamental vectors as i j and k these are three fundamental vectors if we differentiate n is equal to b cross t in both sides with respect to s then we get n dash is equal to b dash cross t plus b cross t dash uh, if we put b dash is equal to minus kappa n and t dash is equal to tau n then we get n ta minus tau n cross t and kappa b cross n n cross t means n cross t is equal to minus b and b cross n is equal to minus t if we put this value and this equation we get uh, tau b minus kappa t is equal to n dash so we finish the proof of serif fournet formula and the relation between t and b and their arc derivatives as known as the serif fournet formula thank you sir thank you all my friends